Welcome to our Science and Technology Briefing program. Today, we kick off with Microsoft President Brad Smith's alarming warning about the heightened risk of foreign interference in the final days leading up to the U.S. election. Drawing on lessons from Slovakia's recent election, where fake audio of a candidate emerged just before voting, Smith emphasizes the need for vigilance as we approach this crucial moment in democracy. Next up, we've got a rather surprising turn of events in Queensland, where a blueberry farm that started construction without the necessary approvals has finally received the green light from the Toowoomba Regional Council. The council's decision came after a heated discussion, with concerns raised about environmental compliance and tree clearing. While some members had their doubts, others saw potential for rectifying the situation, highlighting the complexities of local regulations. Lastly, we celebrate a significant conservation victory as feral rusa deer have been eradicated from Wild Duck Island, safeguarding one of Australia's largest flatback turtle rookeries. This successful operation not only protects the nesting turtles from the deer's destructive habits but also sets a precedent for tackling invasive species in other regions. Conservation advocates are now calling for more investment in managing these challenges across the state. Please stay tuned for more detailed coverage of these exciting stories. Japan Times reports that Microsoft President Brad Smith has issued a stark warning regarding the potential for foreign interference in the upcoming U.S. election, particularly highlighting the critical 48 hours leading up to the vote. Drawing from lessons learned during Slovakia's recent election, where false audio of a leading candidate circulated just before the polls, Smith emphasized that this period poses the highest risk for similar meddling. His testimony before the Senate Intelligence Committee serves as a crucial reminder of the vulnerabilities elections face in the digital age, urging vigilance from both officials and the public. According to the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, a controversial blueberry farm in Queensland has received council approval despite beginning construction without prior permission. The farmer cleared land and built infrastructure on a 32-hectare site before applying for development approval leading to a heated council meeting where neighbors voiced their concerns about environmental impacts and compliance issues. The council ultimately voted in favor of the project, though some members expressed reservations about the process and the implications of approving a development that had already commenced without proper authorization. The situation raises questions about regulatory adherence and the balance between agricultural development and environmental protection. In another story from the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, the eradication of feral deer from Wild Duck Island, part of the Great Barrier Reef, marks a significant victory for conservationists aiming to protect the island's flatback turtle rookery. The Rusa deer, believed to have been illegally introduced for hunting, were found to be trampling turtle nests and disrupting nesting activities. Following a targeted eradication program involving advanced technologies like thermal imaging, the population of deer has been successfully eliminated, with no sightings reported in recent months. This achievement not only benefits the turtle population but also sets a precedent for similar pest control efforts across other islands in the Great Barrier Reef, showcasing the effectiveness of coordinated conservation initiatives. South China Morning Post reports that Singapore's health minister Ong Yi Kung announced plans to integrate artificial intelligence into the healthcare system, aiming to enhance preventive care and patient outcomes. This innovative approach will enable general practitioners to receive alerts about patients' potential health risks, such as a high likelihood of stroke within a decade. By leveraging a comprehensive database that includes medical, genomic, lifestyle, and socioeconomic information, the AI system will empower doctors to prescribe appropriate medications and encourage healthier lifestyle choices. Ong emphasized the importance of a seamless flow of patient data across the healthcare system, which will be facilitated by the National Electronic Health Record Initiative. He highlighted the potential to bridge the gap between healthspan and lifespan, advocating for a future where technology underpins preventive healthcare while maintaining a simple and effective interface for patients. The Globe and Mail reveals that Boeing is facing significant challenges as the company temporarily furloughs tens of thousands of employees due to a strike involving 30,000 machinists. This labor dispute, the first for Boeing since 2008, has halted production of key aircraft models, including the 737 MAX, and could lead to substantial financial losses. CEO Kelly Ortberg announced that employees will take rolling furloughs while the company seeks to manage costs amid ongoing negotiations with the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers. The union is pushing for a 40% raise over four years, while Boeing's offer of 25% has been rejected. As the strike continues, analysts warn that the prolonged labor battle could strain Boeing's finances and threaten its credit rating, highlighting the urgency for a resolution. 
In a reflective piece from South China Morning Post, a writer critiques the notion that Hong Kongers possess a unique spirit of perseverance, suggesting that this mindset is not exclusive to them. Instead, the author argues that what is truly needed is a willingness to abandon outdated practices that hinder progress. Despite government claims of prioritizing youth development and innovation, many senior officials cling to bureaucratic values, stifling creativity and new ideas. The writer expresses frustration with the lack of fresh approaches to tourism and transportation, calling for a cultural shift that embraces change and innovation rather than merely celebrating resilience. In a contrasting perspective, another resident praises Hong Kong's public services as superior to those of large private companies, sharing a personal experience with a health insurance provider that lacked empathy and flexibility. This highlights the need for human judgment and understanding in service delivery, especially in a rapidly evolving technological landscape. South China Morning Post reports on the recent controversy surrounding chili oil, particularly after David Chong of Mamafuku attempted to trademark his Chili Crunch product. This move sparked outrage, leading to Chong retracting his request and apologizing. The article highlights the significance of chili oil in Chinese cuisine, with chefs Ronald Xiao and Erchun Chan sharing their unique recipes. Xiao emphasizes the importance of using rapeseed oil as a base and avoiding garlic to maintain the pure taste of the chilies, while Chan incorporates leeks and a blend of different chilies, including Korean red chili flakes and Sichuan peppercorns for a distinct flavor. Both chefs expressed disappointment over the trademark attempt, advocating for the sharing of culinary traditions and encouraging others to explore and innovate with chili oil. Japan Times reports on the FBI's disruption of a significant Chinese hacking group known as Flax Typhoon, which was allegedly operating under the guise of an IT firm called Integrity Technology Group. FBI Director Christopher Wray revealed that this group has compromised over 250,000 devices globally, collecting intelligence for Chinese government security agencies. The coordinated effort involved cyber officials from the UK, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, who also implicated Integrity Technology Group in malicious cyber operations. This disruption highlights ongoing concerns about cybersecurity threats posed by state-sponsored hacking entities and the international collaboration required to combat such threats effectively. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 do brief via email. Waking up to wonders, checking nature blunders, got our rockets flying while the oceans are sighing. Lasers in the sky now, holograms we say.